Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, this is episode seven. Pretty sure it's seven. Um, I have finished up uh, free agency. I've gotten into training camp. Uh, do want to welcome a few guys uh, real quick. Uh, I've already welcomed them in my football manager series. But I know some of you guys have joined because of this series, so I want to make sure I at least recognize you. Uh, let's see, Hugh Bloom. Uh, I know he had asked some questions, I think, last episode. I mentioned the, the questions, but he actually subscribed. So, Hugh, welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see, who else? Army Dave, welcome to the channel. Uh, I did get that link up in uh, episode four for you this morning uh, to the uh sim community sim nation that i'm part of and uh somebody else mike warren uh, just subscribed uh yesterday uh so the three of you guys welcome to the channel we're up to what does that give me here 400 and 428 subscribers so thank you very much to all of you guys uh hugh in particular uh a few of your questions i was not sure of the answers so I have posted those over at the uh, Wolverine Studios forum, and we'll see if we can't get some answers or some feedback from those guys, uh, either guys that are more familiar with the game or the developers themselves. Um, the questions in particular, and we can talk about them here real quick, were, uh, let's see. Not real happy about the inability to distinguish between bonus and salary, the guaranteed versus non-guaranteed money. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know any game out there that's perfect. So, you know, it's up to you to decide if you can live with that. Um, I think what that does is maybe, maybe, and this is just, this is a maybe. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head with the question. You know, this gives more, more consistency to dealing with the salary cap, making it a little easier. Just something, to th just you know, a thought. Uh, also asked, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Wondering if there's any kind of fog of war. I don't think so, but again, this is an answer I am not sure of so i have posted it we will we'll try to get an answer and i will give you feedback if and when i get that um yeah i th now i think the tap the number does change due to talent fluctuation so like and the reason I, I have this screen up is I just finished training camp. So I just and, and this may answer a couple of questions. So let's pull up Alan Branch. So he's got a 944,000 base salary over two years. Now, if I look at his actual contract, it was front loaded. See, it doesn't show me. It's it's like over a million dollars the first year and it's less the second year. So I don't know why it doesn't show it that way. Because when I signed him, that's that's what it showed. So this just shows, I guess you can you can figure it out however you want, but that's uh that's what it is. Uh here's where you would release the player, because I know you had asked about that, being able to bring in extra guys. Uh, so you can see our training camp here. We'll look at the rosters because we're going to go through this here in a little while. Uh, here's our results. Uh, I did up our training camp to the maximum of 25 points uh, to get the maximum effort in training camp. But now that we're going into games, I am going to drop that here in just a minute. But I wanted you to just kind of see the results. So Branch, 36 years old, I knew he was a gamble, but he ended up losing eight points uh in the uh and i think he was a 77 obr when i signed him literally just a couple of weeks ago and now he's a 75 so that did drop uh you can front load the contracts you, you know you can balance them over the years so that that does give you a little flexibility for that uh was there anything else i wanted to point out um 
Army Dave, I mentioned putting up the link in uh, to Simnation, so that's good. All right, uh, so let's see. One of the other questions was, well, let me drop this. I want them studying game tape, so we're going to drop all of these down one. We're going to save that. So we don't want them putting out quite as much effort, right, during the season. So there is some fatigue. For a few guys, and, he, and he's out. Wow. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's go look at, uh, well, let's check emails. Team Medic, you're pressuring too hard in training. So maybe I don't want to go up to 25. Maybe I want to just go to 24 or 23. I don't know. Uh, frazier has been a superstar. Randy Gregory, I guess he could be good if he wasn't getting high all the time. But, and being suspended. A trade offer. All right, so uh, let's go to the trade screen. Where is that? That is trade players. So they want Sean Lee. Our line, one of our linebackers, and they will give us a linebacker and a third round pick. Okay, so we have a 70. They're going to get a 90 OVR linebacker for a 70 OVR. And then we get a third round pick. Now, I don't mind trading Sean Lee because he is on the block. But I wish there was a way I could, because it doesn't look like I can get out of this without doing one of the options. Or can I? Let's look at roster. I cannot. All right, so we're going to delay this. All right. Um, roster. And actually, I want to go to the American and Miami. Miami, hello. There we are. All right. So it's a linebacker. And he was a 70. So Quentin Poling. All right, so he is 24 years old. He's making 400,000, University of Ohio, two years experience. He's got good endurance, great leadership, strong work ethic, a team player. Sixty-eight tackling, sixty-three speed, agility's not bad, so he could probably cover. So he's a seventy, right? So let's go to let's go to our team. Let's look at linebackers. So our average is 79 on the OVR, right? So a 70, he would actually be the worst linebacker on the squad. Now, I put him up for trade because, oh, we also signed Lamar Houston as a free agent uh, at linebacker. Um... The reason I put Sean Lee is because he's 34. He's probably in his last couple of years, and he's $3 million. And I'm happy with Jalen Smith and Leighton Vander Esch starting for me. Lamar Houston could step in, and yes, it is a downgrade, but I don't think it's a horrible downgrade. And we pick up a third round pick, which probably isn't bad. Um, I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Saves us some money. I really, I really think this could be improved, this trade screen, the trade ability. Um, like in, uh, in Out of the Park, you have the ability to shop a player. So you could put him in here and hit shop player. And you're, all, you're able to do that like, I don't know, three times a week or something like that. And basically teams, you know, there will be potential offers that will come in. And, and I think that's, you know, without having to go through each individual team and then putting in and then get just getting a rejection there's no negotiation or anything i think this could this is a section grant and keep in mind this is only the second year that they've put out a pro football game so pf19 was the first year i'm pretty sure i could be wrong on that but i think pro football was 2019 so this is only the second iteration of it so you know it, it will continue to get better i have no doubt I'm going to go ahead and accept this. Boom. All right. Well, for better or for worse, I've made a trade. <laughs> Let's see. We, uh, we're we picked to be the runner-up. Let's just check a few more things. All right. So all that's done. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Um, what else? Where do we need to go here? Uh, the preseason. Let's go to depth chart. Uh, we are going to use our head coach. All right. So Wiley is uh, our new backup running back and fullback. All right, let's look at defense. We're going to go to our defensive coordinator. All right, so Jalen Smith, Lamar Houston does step up. Leighton Van Der Esch. Good. Special teams, we'll go back to the head coach. That, that shouldn't change too much. All right, now also one of the earlier questions, and I think we've already addressed it. If we look at the overall roster, we've got 69 players. So last season, we had, we only had 53 because that's how many you can play with in a season. Now we had moved, I think, eight to the practice squad. So those guys come back onto the roster plus all of our draft picks. So all those guys are now added. So we're going to have to drop players. We're going to have to, because I don't know how many we can sign to the practice squad, but we'll figure it out. And forgive my sinuses. It's early as hell. It's uh, it's 5 o'clock, a little after 5. I woke up at 2. Bear with me here. Uh, thirsty, thirsty. I uh, woke up at 2. Oh, the insomnia that I'm starting to suffer is horrible. And the sinuses are just killing me when I don't get enough sleep. Ugh. All right. Um, we're playing Oakland here. Oh, hard knocks. It's hard knocks week. All right. Let's go back to week one. Show the score. Ooh, that sucks. Well, that's why they call it preseason, I suppose, huh? Uh, let's see. No emails. All right. So we'll go to preseason week two. Simulate the week. Remember, we're only, you know, I've changed this around a little bit. We're only doing two preseason games. 30 to 17. Prescott again. Elliot again. All right. So he's looking good. All right, we're going to be playing the Eagles this week in week one, but we need to go into our roster. All right, so we need to go to roster management. 
and let's view well first off let's check all of our injuries fatigue 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 really come on guys fatigue stiff neck but he's probable a pinched nerve all right so certainly not enough to a broken finger not enough to keep him out right eight to twelve weeks torn PCL I think we are gonna move him to the IR uh, eight to twelve yes we'll move him to the IR there we are Quinn fatigue all right, so that gets us down one. All right, now we can view positional counts. So this gives your current number of players on your roster and the minimum that you have to have. So we've got two extra running backs. So let's take a look at those guys first. So running backs are right here. They should be, and they're not. Okay, so... I can sort by that, but I really want position. All right, uh, let's see. So, Jackson's 27 with an 81, 89, 85. Uh, Mike Weber, we're going to put on the uh, practice squad. I'd like to trade him, but nobody's made an offer for him. Uh, and I could put Darius Jackson. I don't remember how, was he on the team last year? I don't remember. Pollard was. Hmm. Speed, agility. Blocking, pass blocking, pass blocking. That would probably be important here. So I'm going to move Jackson to the practice squad. All right. And we've got one extra tight end. I don't mind carrying three tight ends, though, because we may run, you know, we, we could run a lot of two tight end sets. I could probably do away with a receiver. We have three extra at that spot. All right, here's our receivers. So what do we want to do here? Tavon Austin, 74. Brown is a 72. God, they draft a lot of Ohio State players. <laughs> All right, uh, Cedric Wilson, Boise State. 75 speed. I'm going to cut him. Uh, so let's open him up. Contract. We're going to release the player. Bam. Sorry, buddy. The Turk came calling. All right. Um, now... Positional count. Still have two extra receivers. So let's put. Uh, I'm going to move Noah Brown to the practice squad. All right, what's next? We can move. Uh, we've got two extra. One guard and maybe two centers. So guards are here. I'm going to probably move him anyway. All right. And centers. So I've got two extras. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these guys. 
All right, so Lacador contract. We're going to release him. Bam. And who was the other guy? 71, Jay Looney. Um, I think he could play guard. I'm going to I'm going to keep him on the practice squad. All right. So we're down to 61. So we got a ways to go. <laughs> ways to go. So I'll be back when this is done. <laughs> Save you guys a little time. All right. So we're back. So here's the uh, final tally. So we've released a bunch of players uh, to get down. We've moved some guys to the practice squad. So if we look at our roster, we now have 53, one inactive, eight on the practice squad. And I think that's the most you can have. Uh, so we are down to that level. I'm going to go back into training here. And I'm going to drop physical training another point. Just to try to help that out a little bit. And uh, let's see. Click football open the schedule all right we open up with philly so let's get started we've got a you know some time left so let's just go ahead and try to get through a few weeks and we will check things out as we go all right a 31 24 victory take a look at the box score Wentz had a pretty decent game Michael Crabtree, Anthony Brown for Dallas with a pick and a touchdown. Very nice. I think Deshaun Jackson could have a really big year being back in Philly this year. Alan Hearns finding the end zone again. Uh, pick six for Dallas. There's Anthony Brown. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown. Ouch. Alan Hearns, his second touchdown. And then we got a Jamie Wiley Six-yard touchdown run. Come from behind to score 14 in the fourth quarter. Prescott, 13 of 27. Not great. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's still a 93 OVR. Accuracy's a little low, and that's, that's accurate. You know, I'd like to have that a little higher, but I think he has shown to be an intelligent quarterback, and this is kind of just talking him out because... I know one of you guys had mentioned that, you know, him being a 93 is unrealistic, and probably so. Uh, I think I, I, and I think I was all over that. I, th I said that's not real, but he looked pretty damn good last week, and I'm looking forward to seeing him tomorrow uh, for week two. But, you know, I think he is a very intelligent quarterback. He's got a solid arm. Um, Accuracy's not, I mean, 79 is, is kind of low. He's not the fastest quarterback, so that's probably good. And I would say his leadership should actually be higher. Um, but, you know, again, I don't know how they come up with these numbers. I don't, you know, but they are what they are, right? I mean, you know, you they're part of a game and you, you, you make do and you live with them. Uh, let's see. Emails. Trade talks canceled. Hmm. Did they want to trade for someone else? Okay. Interesting. Let's do a quick... Uh, there should be an injuries tab is there not roster statistic contracts training training depth chart that's not it roster oh here it is uh Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I want.
you can go in and set playbooks and game plans and stuff, but I'm just going to, you know, I mean, I'm the GM. I'm hiring a coach. The coach runs the offense and defense, so we're going to let him do that. There's got to be, well, I say there's got to be. There doesn't have to be anything. Um, here we go. Here we go. All right, team news. All right, so we've got fatigue, a pinch nerve. These guys are probable. Jelks is on the IR. Williams is still questionable with fatigue. All right, that's fine. All right, so we're not going to have to change our depth chart. We're playing the Lions. I wish they had, uh, well, I mean, it's no big deal. It's just not seeing a point spread is odd. Just I'm so used to seeing point spreads for NFL games. All right, simulate the week. Let's drop back. Mock score, 17 to 10 win. Way to go, boys. Dak Prescott, 212 yards, 18 of 29. Amari Cooper with a touchdown catch. Good for him. A couple of uh, field goals. Jamie Wiley got a touchdown run. Okay. Prescott, 18 and 18 is 36. That's just kind of how I visualize. So I double their completions, <clears throat> and that's the number of attempts to be at 50%. So if, if it's over, like 36, it means they're over 50%. If it's under, it means they're under 50%. So we're over, so well over 50%. So that's a good game, 95 rating. Elliott, 53 yards, only 2.9 yards a carry. Ship had a pretty big game. Cooper, only two catches. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go to week three. Well, I tell you what, no, we got to go to team news. Probable. All right, still out six to eight weeks. Well, email. All right. Nothing going on there. Box score. Ooh, ooh, we got blown out. Sam Darnold, 307 yards. Can you believe Sam Darnold's got mono? When's the last time you heard of a NFL, a pro athlete with mono? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, but he's going to, you know, he's going to miss more than a week, probably two to three weeks, right? Um, yeah, 27 to 6. We were just non competitive. 12 first downs. That's shit. And here you go. 16 and 16 is 32. So we're under 50%. Horrible rating. Horrible rating. Um, and I, I would give some thought. I would give some thought to signing another quarterback all right let's do one more week uh let's check our emails all right we can delete that we've got team news all right so every we're, we're completely healthy so nobody i'm going to go back into um training and let's do i'm going to raise I'm gonna raise that just to see just to see what happens if anybody else ends up getting tired. I think is kind of the goal here. All right, let's uh, let's simulate this week. Ooh, did we win on a last second field goal? Uh, no, but we did score on a pass and the two point conversion failed. So we were trying to go up by three. Cool. All right. Let's see. Uh, Cole Beasley scored against us. I liked Cole. He was a good little slot receiver. Amari Cooper, Alan Hearn. So our, you know, both of our big receivers scored 20 out of 34, well over 50%. It's a hundred yard game for Zeke. Cooper, 6 for 114. Like to see that. Good deal. Good deal. 
All right, I think week five we were off. Is there somewhere we can see our schedule over here? Team schedule. Boom. Uh, week five. All right, so let's go ahead and do week five just because we are off. So we'll go ahead and simulate that week. We're not playing. All right, let's check our emails. Let's see. Well, you're injured, so you shouldn't be working anyway. Jalen Smith is tired. All right, so, yeah, so, all right, let's go back into training while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to drop athletic training down one. Let's see if that makes them happy. Um, team news. So we've got some fatigue issues setting in. What are you down there, cat? And no other injuries. Uh, oh, questionable. Oh, he's questionable with fatigue. Jelks is back to being probable, but remember, he's on the IR. Can we... Can we... Roster. Roster management. All right, so do I want him back? That's the question. Defensive end, 74. I could move him to move to practice. Yes, so you can only have Okay, what's the deal here? Injured reserve. Is he over here? All right, so how do I get him? No. Hmm. All right. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Auto adjust roster. All right. So he's back over here. Can I not activate him? Maybe that may be the deal. You can't. Maybe you can't activate off IR till a certain point because he's back a little early. I thought he was going to be out eight to twelve weeks. All right, let's check the standings. Let's do a little catch up. We are three and one, so we're not doing poorly. Uh, we are not in the leaders. Well, we're we're 129 yards per game rushing, top five. Uh, defense, we're not doing very well. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. 17th in scoring defense. I don't know how we're three and one with that. We are, we're not giving up a lot of yards. We're 20. Well, no, actually, that's bad. We're 26. We're near the bottom in yards allowed. Uh, we're near the bottom. And yeah, so our defense is doing pretty shit pretty shit uh anything else who's uh let's look at the player stats i suppose all right trubisky 1259 yards leading the way matt ryan with 10 touchdowns russell wilson a 99 rating is that C.J. Anderson from Detroit with 459 yards rushing. Jordan Matthews from the Niners, 535 yards receiving. All right. <coughs> so, anyway, there's the start to our season. Uh, we will come back... Um, so, again, I think 
I want to try to limit this to about three, about three episodes a season. But you know, the, this first episode, first first series of games, this episode, we're gonna, you know, we've got to cover free agency, roster adjustment. I mean, I can do all that off camera. Excuse me. Hopefully, I remember to edit that out, but I probably won't. Um, you know, and I think it's I think it's good to see some of the off season stuff. So, let's plan uh, next episode. We'll do probably half of what's left. So let's see. We're in week. We're going to be in week six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I think next, you know, we aren't going to have all the free agency stuff. We can, we'll come back and do six games, week six through eleven, and uh, see where we are at at that point. And then we'll finish off the season, the regular season, and then deal with any playoff games if we have them. And uh, that's kind of the game plan. And then we'll do a postseason wrap up and then move into the following season. If you guys have a different, you know, again, if you guys can think of anything that's different, that would make this a better series. Because right now I'm, you know, this is first time, first season doing this. Uh, first time I've played this game. Like I said, I didn't play PF19. I did, I did play CF17. Uh, so or CF 18. I don't remember which one. So that was a few years ago um, Which is a college football based on the, the similar layout and format um, But uh, you know if you've got any ideas that may make Just the process in recording of a, a uh, an episode for this look better a different breakdown um, Things that I'm not covering that you want to see that I, that you know and, and I can do those as a one-off type thing. I can do periodic looks like, you know, we can drop into the top 10 and, you know, look at the, you know, top 10 season players and, and what have you. But, you know, right now that's all last year because it was the first year. But anyway, any feedback that you've got, leave it in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And, hey, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks again for checking out uh, this episode. Take care. Bye.